Alrighty guys, Gunshy here with another video, and today we are going to be looking at some of the Unreal 5 Arc kind of mocks that Neketus here has made over the last couple weeks, just bringing over some Arc assets, putting them into Unreal Engine 5, and just seeing how they would look with all the lighting and the new textures and all that, and especially, they look amazing. Um, if you guys want to go look at these for yourselves, there is going to be a link to Nekatus's Twitter and Discord in the description. And if you guys have been liking my content and you have been seeing it more on their regular, please do leave a like and subscribe. And I do also have my own Discord, so do feel free to go and hop in there. But yeah, let's hop right on in. Okay, so the first one we have here is this one here. He said it's using some old ARC assets. So... This is in Unreal Engine 5. The lighting looks great. We got good shadows. Um, the textures could be better. I think he even said that in his post here for it. But if we scroll down a bit more, we got it worked on even more. So now we got vegetation. The textures even look better. The rocks still look a little weird to me, personally. But that might just be because I'm not used to seeing a lot of rock textures. I've only seen like the weird ones in Skyrim, really. I don't really pay attention to the rocks. But then we got the, was it, a Gallia Mimus here in the foreground. And again, we got the fireplace in the background. But the galley looks amazing in the lighting. And if I scroll down a bit more, we got an Iguanodon in Unreal Engine 5 in its lighting. And that thing looks awesome. All right. I am honestly just can't wait until we have Unreal Engine 5 Arc. <laughs> arc 1. So I'm betting, though, the new creature and Unreal Engine 5 come out around the same time, so towards the end of this year. But then we also got a Rex here in Finjordor in Unreal Engine 5. So he grabbed some of his Finjordor assets, ported them into Unreal Engine 5, along with a Rex, and boom, we got this. And, like, I mean, this is going to probably be an example of what the locations in Finjordor could look like once we got all this new stuff from Unreal Engine 5. I'm going to stop saying Unreal Engine 5 because I said it probably about 20 times. So, if I scroll down more, we got the Arc Brachio in, uh, was it the Arc Brachio here in the Redwoods in the, in the new engine. Um, I would, I would love to see, though, the Arc Additions one, you know, in this lighting. Because, personally, the, the Brachio... That the skin that they made for the Bronto. To me, that was personally, I didn't like it. I know several people do love it. I've, I I know a buddy that has actually a lot of Brontos that just wear the Brachio skin that he's had forever on his world. Then we got another view of the Brachio here. So it's kind of, it's again, just a silhouette. And now we got some of the Redwoods in, a, in the new engine. So, I could imagine my house is going to look awesome with, like, the Redwoods. Alright, so we got another image of the Redwoods here. Definitely brightened up more, but with snow on the ground. So, uh, what is it? Ragnarok. You know how Ragnarok has the snow? Snow in the trees and the Redwoods? That place, ooh. I can't wait to go and try and build there. Especially with the lighting, because, you know, you got the tunnels underneath around that area as well. So, you got, like, under tunnels that were lights gonna be shining through the ice it's just gonna look awesome and then we have another one here this is just called snow trail in unreal engine 5 um i'm not 100 percent sure if this is arc but this might be something that we could see like a trail left by the dinosaurs so you could like actually track the dinosaurs in the snow by following their footprints and then here is my favorite one so far it is the redwoods but we got a tree platform that we can see up here with a rope ladder. And I'm just saying, I I feel like my house is going to look awesome. Especially once we got the new lighting. Because I've built me an awesome tree house. And then I got the farm up in the trees as well. Alright, so we got another one here of like differences in lighting. So we got loom here. So this is what the caves would be. And then you would see the light at the end of the cave. And then you got no loom. Which, this kind of looks just how normal arc is, you know? You, you see all the rocks around you, but you don't got dark crevices off in the corners where you can't see. Like, I could imagine, like, right over here. Like, just, you know, in that corner right there. What are they called? Megalania. 
just chilling, waiting for you to walk out in front of it. And then we got a nice smithy and some wood structures here in the new engine. And you can see the storage in the background. That looks nice. The lighting just coming in the windows. It looks really nice. All right. How do I put it? It looks like my computer would explode <laughs> if I tried and do this. But with the new engine, it actually, this is just all simplified stuff. It actually is going to make some stuff. If I remember the way someone described it to me, or the way I was understanding it, is that once Unreal Engine 5 comes out, they're going to be able to decrease the size of Arc a bit because of, was it, they're going to not need so much stuff in there like because of the new engine, and it's going to help with performance and with storage. So it's really hard to kind of like wrap my head around it, but we do got an Aurora Borealis here over a wooden hut. I'm guessing this is what the smithy's in but oh that the skies at night i could imagine the skies at night if you had the aurora come out that would look so awesome you know like because then you got a little bit light at night in the sky but then it's dark all around you on the ground it'd be exactly how it actually is all right so now we got a smithy and a generator in the metal and i ain't gonna lie that metal looking pretty fresh like the fact that we do got reflection off the metal like, it, like, you can tell what's reflecting off of it. Like, that's the smithy. That's the generator. Okay, now we got another one here with a snowy cabin in the redwoods. We, we've been getting a lot of redwoods, I ain't gonna lie. That's kind of why I've loved Nekates' uh, <laughs> Unreal Engine. It's just because I've been living in the redwoods. But this is looking really awesome. You got the moonlight cutting through the trees, and, ah, oh, just amazing. You can even see the aurora in the background there, see? You got the moonlight there. This is like how I want the knights to be in Ark. Just all the time. Alright, now we got the Maywing flying through the Redwoods. Looking pretty dope. I mean, this thing looks fuzzy. Like you would just oh, you want to snuggle it to death. Alright, we got another angle here of the Maywing. And as you can see though, like it's it's fluffy. It's very, very, very fluffy. That's just amazing. All right, now we got a nice picture of the otters here in the up in the ground. Uh, you know what? That looks awesome here because that's something that Park doesn't have in it, and they're not going to add this in. All right, this is just something Nekatus did here for this, like the screenshot. All right, it's just a baby otter riding on the back of the mom. It's look, it looks so cute. But then we got the Maywing in the background, and then we got the what is it, Megalosaurus? I want to say, the deer in the background, and again in the redwoods. So was it? Oh, that where I where I pump my water from. I could imagine this place would look awesome. Like you know, that place is gonna look awesome in the redwoods. All right, now we got a shadow main in which, ooh, yeah, that thing looks scaly. It looks like a fish and a cat. Like it just looks better with the uh, what is it with the lighting, you know? And now I can also imagine scenes how it is gonna be bioluminescent. That it's light that's come off of it are going to even look better. We got another angle here of the otters. Again, you got the one there with the swimming with the baby on the back. One chilling on the rock. And then, you know, one of them just jumping in. All right, now we got a nice one of a thylo sneaking up on someone. Oh my god, I hate these things. I had one jump at me on my base earlier when I logged in to get ready to record. Sucker just went flying over my head. <laughs> Right, now we got snow out here in the lighting. It looks poofy as well. The feathers look awesome, you know? I wonder, like, how a feather light would look as well with its bioluminescence. And you know what? The RG, you know? You can't forget about the RG, all right? That is the original OG greatest flyer ever, all right? I know people are going to say, oh, wait, the Pterodon was better. No, it's not, all right? It may be faster, but it ain't got the weight or the damage. All right, now we got some mammoths. Looks like we got a Geo and I one, a mom and a dad, and they're just walking through the snow. But again, the mammoths look like they look furry, right? They look like they actually have wool on them now. It's not like just clumps of hair hanging off of them, you know? It looks like it's actual hair growing out of them. And here's another one that I, I'm not sure if this is using arc assets. It just, just this tropical rainforest in Unreal Engine 5.1. But I could imagine this is how like some of the ancient ruins like on Ragnarok, Fenyordor, um, 
Svartalheim. I'm just saying that because it's... I just named all of Nekitas' maps. I'm just saying. <laughs> but, yeah, I could imagine this is how, like, some of the ancient structures would look that when you roll up on them. And then we got some Aralatops roaming through the Redwoods. Although, I wonder... I want to see these guys actually in, like, a desert oasis and actually see how it would look with that. Or maybe even, like, have him do a caravan of them over the night sky. The Arabian sky at night or whatever. But again, these do these dudes definitely not in the right place. But it still looks really good. I mean, you could all right. The way I can describe this now is you, these look like they were just clumps of hair hanging off of them. Now, now these look like bristles, kind of like how you know, like whale tooth bristles, like like how they just stick out. They kind of look like those things. But I guess they're kind of like fur. But it just looks awesome. Now we have a Deinoticus here with its two young protecting him from a Thylo that's snuck up on him. Or, well, that's about to get jumped by a Thylo. Hey, now we got one of the glow pets, finally. And it is a Shinehorn. And as you can see here, we definitely got some lighting coming off of it down. Like, as you can see, it's light. It's like, it's got a shadow coming off of its head from those lights. And then it's got the light up ears. So, it looks good. Like, they even look brighter. I ain't gonna lie. Because if I remember it, I when I look at, like, shine horns or glow tails, when you turn them on, it's just like their tail turns a different color. But, like, it doesn't really glow glow. It's bright, but it's not, you know, glowing glowing. Again, they produce light, but it's not that bright. I want, like, a very bright emanating light. From their horns, so that way it looks like it's glowing enough to like reach out. But now we got some fear oxes. All right. Oh, dude, the fluff, the fluffy Hulk. It's a yeti, my man. That's just all this thing is now. It looks like a four-armed yeti. Oh, I want to say the I forgot what these guys are. I don't know what they are, but it looks amazing. It's like a was it? They're the. I know what they are. They glide, but they boost themselves up in the air kind of deal. But yeah, those this looks awesome just chilling in the rock out in the snow. Okay, now we got another one here with the thing with glowing eyes and it actually has a rider in a saddle now. It looks really cool. All right, I'm just... This isn't part of Unreal Engine 5, but it did pop up here and it looks awesome. This is the unused riot shield for Ark. Right, next up, we got a bookshelf in the lighting of Unreal Engine 5. That looks awesome as well. Tickle chickens! Just grazing off of trees in the latest new lighting. They look kind of wonky. I'm guessing that's just because the lighting isn't matching up correctly with them. Oh, yeah, we got a dire bear raven waving at us. That's cute. A griffin just carrying away a thylo. Now we got a nice wooden shack. Now we got a Bloodstalker in Unreal Engine. Now that looks awesome, alright? I wonder if... What is it? They should add some more shine to the carapace, definitely. Alrighty, and this is the last picture. So, yeah. Now this stuff has looked awesome. It's definitely some stuff that we're going to be looking forward to. Especially once Ark does come out. Or once the Unreal Engine 5 update does come out for Ark. I mean, this game's just going to get so much more beautiful. Then was it Arc 2 will be launching on Unreal Engine 5 as well, so it's just gonna bring it up to modern standards and graphics, I guess. But anyways, if you guys did like the video, please do leave a like and subscribe. Um I do have my own Discord again if you guys want to hop in there. And do remember to go show some neck test some support here. He does have a current map he's working on, Svartalheim. You guys have probably seen it. Uh again, he's the guy that made Ragnarok, Vinyordor, and Volgara. Again, all amazing maps, so basically anything this guy makes is just great.